Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about why very few dropshippers succeed. And these are the real reasons why so many dropshippers out there, beginners, people that are just getting into this, fail ultimately and why so little of the people that actually try to do this really succeed in the end of the day. So number one is that you are starting a business. This is something that very few people, even though it seems obvious, uh, can't seem to grasp when they're starting this. They seem they think it's like some easy money making method um, just to generate cash. And at the end of the day, you really are starting a business. And that comes along with a lot of different factors. So obviously, number one is that 95% of Shopify stores cancel and fail within the first two months. This is, you know, not exactly a perfect statistic, but this is about the average. I mean, most people that go to start a Shopify store, they're, they go to start that business, actually fail or just cancel flat out within the first two months because they realize there's a lot more work to this than uh, than they had initially thought. Or they, you know, they try something out, doesn't work. You know, it's just so many people try to do this and they cancel their they cancel their Shopify subscription within the first two months. And you know, if you cancel within the first two months, that that right there eliminates you from ever succeeding in the future if you're not gonna even try. I mean Hopefully you'd have some success within the first two months, but sometimes it takes more than two months of learning and trying things out to get a winning product and getting things off the ground and working. Um, you know, if you're starting a business, you got to take that as learning experience those first two months and then keep going after that. Uh, you know, if you cancel within the first two months right there, that eliminates you from even having the chance to succeed. Number two is that many people get into this from hearing friends talk about it, which is a great thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, that people are talking about it. It's a cool thing to do for sure. Uh, it's a great business model. Uh, but the thing is, is when people hear friends talk about it, they sometimes think that it's super easy and it's really not like it actually takes a lot of work into this. Like I said, you're starting a business. That's the whole point of this slide right here is you have to understand that, that you're actually starting a business and hearing about it from friends is this fun thing. It's cool and all, but understand that it takes a lot of work. And, and some people that hear about it from friends just may not be that serious about it. They think it's some quick, easy money-making method and they're going to be rich in no time. And at the end of the day, it really is an actual business that you're starting and it's going to take a lot of work. So into the next thing is understanding the mechanics. This is something that a lot of the reason why so many people don't succeed and the reason why very few actually succeed is understanding all the mechanics that go into building a Shopify store. So the first thing is you need to understand product research. So product research is first of all, what niche are you going to get into? What type of products are you going to be selling on your store? It could be physical products, digital products, drop shipping, you know, whatever things you're selling, at least understand the mechanics that go into it. What products are you going to be selling? And this may take about a month to really figure it out, but usually, you know, pick a niche that's that you're passionate about, that you care about, and that you would actually be able to sell uh, products to people within. Because if you don't understand the niche well enough, you're not going to understand what kind of products go along with other products. You know, if you start a beauty store and you don't really understand what women buy online, it's going to be hard for you. You know, you might find one cool product to sell, uh, but if you don't understand all the other kind of products that go along with that, like looking at what other stores are doing, you're going to have an extremely hard time finding success and, and building out a really good store. Uh, so it helps, you know, if you're into fishing, make a fishing store. It just helps within your product research to do something that you have some circle of competency around. Number two is web and graphic design. This is something that a lot of, I see a lot of other YouTubers actually leave out of their videos is understanding web and graphic design. So you're going to want to know a little bit of coding when you're getting into this. So start learning a little bit of coding, some HTML, because you're going to need to customize your websites to make them look a certain way and graphic design. So learn Photoshop. Now, that's another skill you want to have for this is learn Photoshop, understand how to make, um, because you're going to need to understand how to make advertising materials. You're going to need to understand how to make, um, web pages look a certain way and all of that goes along with web and graphic design skills. There is also canva.com. You can check that out. That's an alternative to Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop or if you don't want to get Photoshop, I mean, there's ways to get Photoshop online for free, but canva.com is something that I've used in the past because it has some nice little uh, templates for things. So you could use that as well for web and graphic design, but that's a, a whole nother skill that you're going to need to really start a successful Shopify store. Uh, is understanding that and how to make 
nice looking pictures, nice looking uh, logoing and all of that. That's web and graphic design. It's going to take time to learn that even. And the third thing is in advertising. So uh, let alone from the actual graphic design work that you're going to need to understand for advertising, you're also going to want to understand Facebook ads, Instagram promotions, uh, Google ads, AdWords, uh, all these different things, even YouTube ads, if you're going to be going down that route. I mean, there's a whole slew of different ways that you could advertise a Shopify store um, based on what kind of products you're selling. Um, and you're going to you're gonna need to know how to advertise those products to people because if you don't know how to advertise and how to market your products, that's another thing that's going to stop you from having any success because no one's going to be aware of what you're selling. So that's a whole other skill that you need to get down. And these are probably the, the top three skills I would recommend learning and looking into is product research, web and graphic design, and advertising. Web and graphic design is probably one of the easier ones because you don't actually have to like think about customers with that as much. You kind of just... There, it's more like scientific, I guess, with web and graphic design, whereas the other two are a little bit more, um, I guess, math and research based. Uh, but I mean, all three, you're going to need to know all three. Definitely look into those. And number three is then hype and attention. This is something without without warrant. That is all over YouTube. Get this nice Lamborghini, you know, the Ty Lopez effect type of thing is that people sell sell you to fancy cars and watches and people are talking it up like, oh, Shopify dropshipping, you become the next millionaire. And it's possible. It's totally possible that you can make a lot of money doing this. Um, but the fact that the thing that it's fast and easy and you're going to have this Lamborghini in no time and all those kind of things is just utter bullshit. I mean, that's what people are trying to sell you on oh, do this and then buy my $5,000 coaching uh, service. Um, that's what people are trying to sell you on on the internet uh, with these fast cars, Lamborghinis, watches. And yeah, it's a lot of hype. It's There's a lot of attention around Shopify dropshipping or starting a Shopify store. There's a lot of attention around it. But just understand that there... Ultimately, these people that are thro throwing these flashy things at you in advertising or in videos, it's ultimately to try and sell you their services. And a lot of those are like thousand, five thousand dollar type courses, stuff like that. You know, e even when I make my own course, I don't plan on selling it for a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. I'm going to make it very affordable uh, when I release that. So subscribe so you know when I actually release that course. It's going to be uh, down the road, but. You know, I'm not going to make it ridiculously priced. So in a lot of these people are trying to sell you these super expensive courses through these ads with Lamborghinis and all that. So just, you know, be mindful that that's what they're trying to do. Like, don't think, oh, man, I'm going to get this lifestyle in no time, like because that's just bullshit. And it's going to take a lot of time, energy and work to make money and have a successful store or business because you're starting a business. It's not just a quick, dirty, easy made it way to make money. Um, even though that's what they try and sell you and that's what all the hype's about. But uh, anyway, have goals with your store. Create a plan, build a business, and understand the work that it takes. That is the key at the end of the day that you're going to need to succeed. Um, and what sets what will set you apart from all the other people trying to make a store and trying to succeed is Create that plan, build a business, and understand the work that it takes. And that will take you very, very, very far, not in just business, but in life in it as a whole. You know, starting a Shopify store, starting a dropshipping store is starting a business. And these, these kind of principles, having those goals, business objectives is going to take you a very long way. So if I could leave you with that, you know, if you haven't started your Shopify store, I do have a free 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, if you haven't subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe to the dang channel so you get notified for future videos, uploads, notifications, all that good stuff. Leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.